Okay, so good afternoon. Uh, hello, my name's Alan and I work here in the Gravity Bar in the Guinness Storehouse. And today we're going to show you how to pour the perfect pint of Guinness. So the first thing we do is we take a cool, dry Guinness branded glass. Now we do that for a few reasons. Um, the Guinness branding, well that gives us a target later on when we're pouring it. And, and a Guinness glass is very important because it's got a pale, plain bottom on the inside. Most lager glasses have a design there, designed to keep the CO2 bubble circulating, but we don't want that with a Guinness. So it's very important that it's a plain bottom glass. We're going to take our glass, and we're going to hold it against the nozzle. We're going to let the black nozzle point at the inside of the gold heart. That's our reference point. And then we pull the top handle all the way down. The Guinness coming in at a high pressure and velocity with the gas. We slowly straighten it, and when it reaches the top of that gold heart, we bring the top handle back upright. We then leave this on the bar to settle, and that's the first of our two part pour for a Guinness draft. So what's happening now? If we pay attention, we look at the beer, we can see it's got a very skinny head on top. There appears to be stuff falling down the sides, and it's starting to go a bit dark towards the end. This is what we call the Guinness surge. Right now, the nitrogen gas we use, 30 million bubbles of it are escaping up out of the pint. And as they do so, that's what forms the thick creamy head on top. Now, as some bubbles are shooting up, well, they're knocking other bubbles out of the way. So that's what looks like what's falling in the glass. Right now, there's a current going on inside it, shooting up and up and up. And as the beer clears, the head on it pickings up where we want it to be. And that's why we stop now. In Ireland, we like a head on our beer, um, about two centimetres. Uh, you go to Germany, it'll be double that. So we stop now to allow that to develop. We could pour the Guinness all the way to the top of one go if we wanted. The world won't end. Um, and in fact, the pint will taste fine, but it won't look the way we want it to do. So it's very important that we take this moment now to allow the aesthetic to develop. Like we say, you know, good things come to those who wait. So we wait. And as the beer now, we can see it's gone lovely and dark underneath and the head has thickened up considerably to where we want it to be. So now it's time to top it off. Now, but when we do this, we don't pull the handle towards us. This time we're pushing it towards the customer. And it's a feature of all Guinness taps that they pour from either direction. The reason we push towards the customer is it limits the amount of gas and pressure that comes into the pint the second time round. You've already been patient enough to wait this long. We don't want to make you wait another like 15, 20 seconds for it. So we take our pint, we hold it underneath the nozzle and push the handle slightly towards the customer. We want to let it fill up so a little bit of the head of the beer pops out of the top in a smooth creamy dough. We serve it with the logo facing forward and that's the brainwash you into drinking Guinness forever. And that should be the perfect pint. From when I start to pour to when I serve it to you, it should take 119.5 seconds. So how many pints have you poured over the years? Uh, we've done, I reckon about over 100,000. 